your water pour something out of a jar. I mean, on this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the Easter egg that allows you access to the wonder weapon, the Shredder, on Infinite Warfare Zombies in Spaceland. Now, as you can see, the Shredder is an absolute beast. It just disintegrates the zombies, turns them into nothing make zombie killing an absolute piece of cake so before we get started make sure you click that like button and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe but the first thing you need to do and you can do these in any order but you need to get yourself into the projection room to get into the projection room you have to unlock the pack a punch machine i've got a separate video on my channel so feel free if you don't know how to get into the projection room go and watch that video it explains it super easy but as you'll see over on the table there's some ufos what you need to do is you need to go over and press square or x or your use key that will send the UFOs off into the map and those UFOs will then start circling different traps dotted around the map. After you've done that, you need to get yourself an arcane core for one of your weapons. It can be any weapon and they're dotted on these little souvenir stands. You need to get yourself 300 tickets. You can get that from completing the challenges from Neil the Robot or in the arcade. But after you've got that arcane core, you need to go up into the Kepler system. And in the Kepler system, at the back of the map, there's this chromosphere trap. What you need to do is get yourself a nice train of zombies behind you, turn the trap on, and that'll kill loads of zombies. Once you've killed enough zombies in the trap, you'll see there the UFO will then start to fly a longer circle around the Kepler system. And what you need to do is with the weapon that you have attached your arcane core to, you have to kill around 20 to 30 zombies. When you do that, the UFO will drop that little glowing ball of plasma that you just saw there. So complete the trap, send the UFO offline around the Kepler system, get your weapon out that you have attached your arcane core to, kill 20 to 30 zombies with that gun, and what that UFO will do, as long as you're near enough to the zombies, you'll see the zombies' souls fly up into the UFO. Once you've done 20 to 30 of those, you're absolutely laughing, and you'll get that little piece for your weapon. Then what you need to do is get yourself a brute in the game. This is quite simple. All you need to do is run through the alligator's trap in the Kepler system. And what they'll do is the trap will smash down on the brute, but the brute will hold it up. And as you saw there, the brute will smash the teeth off the alligator. Then you can go over to the arcade. When you're in the arcade, get yourself 300 more tickets and buy the golden teeth off the shelf. You can then fit the golden teeth into the alligator and that will open up this section at the back of his mouth. Now with your arcane core weapon, what you need to do is you need to shoot out the targets and one of those targets will open up and that allows you access to this part. All you need to do is you need to run in and equip that part. Happy days, we're nearly getting there now. Then what you need to do is head up to the Kepler system and where the log flume is, you need to equip your glasses and on the back of the log flume, when it drives past, you see the little battery is placed on the back of the log flume. All you need to do is shoot that off from the back of the log flume and it'll fall into the water and then you can run up over the bridge and you can get to where the water fountains are once you're over where the water fountains are the battery will get shot up into one of these fountains and you'll be able to get the battery it can be a bit of a ball ache because the battery keeps dropping which take your time and you'll be able to equip the battery all this is over in the kepler district to get that where the power is in the kepler district you just open the sign and you can drop down and get onto the log flume the last but not least all you need to do is get three red souvenir coins Pop them into the souvenir machine that is over in the Kepler district. Again, buy the power in the Kepler district. That will give you your third and final piece. Again, you can do them in any order. Don't worry about it. Then all you need to do is go downstairs. You can get to this by the little side alley by the arcade. Find, Go follow the signs for the Kepler system and you'll find this little sign that says Shredder on it. Go over to that, put all the pieces on and voila, you have access to the Shredder Wonder Weapon. Now that might have sounded a little bit complicated but just follow the steps, step by step. Make sure you do them when you've just got one or two zombies left at the end. You've got plenty of time, there's no rush and you'll be able to unlock yourself the Wonder Weapon that is an absolute beast. This is one of my favourite Wonder Weapons. It's quite an easy Easter egg to do. It's one of the easier ones I find. Especially that bit with the log flume, that's it's not an issue. Just take your time, pop your glasses on, you'll be able to see it. It's hard to see, but you can see it. And even if you can't see it, just spray bullets onto the back little ledge and the uh, the battery falls off dead easy. It, it, there's nothing complicated to it. So I hope that helped, guys. If it did, make sure you click like. I'm going to be doing a video for every single Easter egg that's in this map, as well as every weapon packer punched, every perk in the game, all tips and tricks to get you guys to the absolute highest level possible. We're going to do some serious high rounding efforts. And as well as that, I'm currently recording recording and editing how to complete the main boss easter egg that is super complicated but that video will be going live very shortly so thank you very much for watching and until next time get yourself on infinite warfare and go and kill yourself some undead